social hierarchy of the Aztecs. Well, they followed strict social hierarchy. The nobles were often referred to as pimplant, and the commoners were known as machutaras. The lords sometimes were referred to as Tejnahuti. Now, uh, bear in mind there were eight social classes. There were rulers, warriors, nobility, priests, slaves, and servants. Also, there was the middle class, but they were very powerful leaders um, that contributed to the culture. And they um, created calendars and equidots, so forth, so on. It was good. It's your boy. Decon Jackson Jr. And you know I don't like filming, man. There's some federal stuff happening right now. I am, what? What do you want me to talk about, man? Slaves. Talk about slaves. Slaves where? Aztecs. Aztec slaves. I got you. Rowback. Alright, so, hey, listen, check it. Some slaves punish criminals or prisoners of war. Sold themselves and their children. Man, they cut me to the core. They got into slavery region to economic situations. So they could free themselves. And that's the only good thing about this nation. By repaying their purchase price, slaves could be free. Slaves could marry and own property. And their children were born free. Uh, uh. Slaves weren't captive people. Uh. They were assets.